Hi, this year we were planning trip uh, to Germany again, but since we have still outbreak of COVID in Europe widely spread, and um, we had also European uh, football championship where the people were all, were able to meet in groups, and maybe that was a little bit mistake, uh, especially. Uh, for Denmark that was already in really good shape uh, with the COVID. Anyway, the plan was first to fly at Friday to Denmark in Herring and take uh, COVID testing there that is required. And they have uh, facilities there nearby. And the uh, plan was the overnight in, in Denmark. And then the idea was to visit the island of Sylt that I have been wanting for several years to visit but also that was uh, postponed again and then the idea was overnight in Flensburg where the airport is rather close to the city and I'm familiar with the city so I would uh, find suitable uh, accommodation rather far, easily um, and nearby the airfield and then the idea was the, the final destination where what we wanted to really to see was the uh, Pinemünde. The idea was to spend the whole day in, in Pinemünde and after Pinemünde uh, fly to Sweden uh, to Eslöv to overnight there. There's also the situation that uh, Airfield is located near uh, service facilities. There is uh, restaurants and so on really nearby the field. And you have also the gasoline available there. L likewise in, in, in Flensburg, but not in, in Pinemünde. So all the refueling was also handled uh, that way. And during the trip uh, from, uh, from Finland to Denmark, we needed one uh, additional refueling in Westervik. That was at least uh, the plan. But then Corona situation a little bit changed and uh, Denmark ended up to the so-called uh, yellow area list and that was a little bit uh, hard to get by if we were planning to go to Germany because that meant that we should have a, some kind of quarantine time in, uh, in Germany after visiting Denmark. So we skipped the plan that we don't go to Denmark and actually the weather was also getting worse uh, being great weather for several weeks at least in Finland and in the uh, eastern part of Sweden. So we decided that uh, since we are not able to fly at Friday in VFR conditions we have to find an alternative route or, or places to visit. So we decided that we go to the airfield uh, Saturday morning and we find the place where to fly and one idea was to visit the Kotland and uh, actually that was uh, then the plan that uh, let's let's try to go to the Kotland and the actual uh, flight trip that we made was uh, really really ensorted quite a lot but the trip was uh, really really great anyway and uh, and we saw great people during our, our trip and great personalities and uh, I hope that we are able to make uh, visit those locations again where we visited uh, during our flight trip.
We met a couple of guys and CFI, and we asked for recommendations where to visit on our trip in to the Cotland and the southern Sweden. And actually, they gave us uh, good advice to visit Bunge instead of Wispu in Cotland, since Wispu is rather expensive field land, and Bunge is something that is not so familiar to everybody. And uh, it's a nice place, old military base, which is now growing more or less sunflowers all over the airfield area. Anyway, we called the Medoloki uh, because there seems to be some uh, CB clouds around us. And also she said that there are two CB cells that might combine if we don't uh, depart immediately from North Delhi. So we did, but unfortunately we had to return since those two CB cells uh, were really close by each other's already when we departed. 